Dory. Have you seen Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel? We've been looking for him all over the place ever since he ran off with those Ninjago bikes. Finding Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. That would make a good movie. No, I haven't seen Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. Oh, doing that whale bit again, are ya? Okay, we'll keep an eye out for him. On the table, Disney Pixar Finding Dory, 20-piece Changing Looks Dory. Yeah, this set does remind me of Armor Up Baymax. Oh, that's why. They're both from Bandai Toys. On the back of the package, some quick images on what you can do with Mr. Potato Head Dory. Lots of different combinations with those 20 pieces. I see mostly ball joints, though. I don't think I will be able to put things onto Baymax. Good thinking, Baymax. One of my favorite features of a toy like this is if you are careful removing the toy from the package, you can reuse the package for display. Inside the package, it even looks like there's a little bit of a backdrop that you could reuse. Let's knock some of these pieces out, shall we? And Dora the Explorer, outside of the package, all on the table here, I see a lot of nautical things going on with this fish. Might be kind of funny to build her and place her inside of Pottery Barn's uh, ocean theme furniture. What is this, a crab piece? All sorts of weird pieces coming together here. Shells, I've got different flippers for Dora. Interesting head there. So this is a pretty interesting set to play and build around with. I guess we should go with the first and most basic dingo we can think of. Let's begin with the display stand. Uh, let's see here, uh, I think it's this green thing here. And so we will use this to place Dory on top. Now to place Dory, all you have to do is find the peg at the bottom of her foot right there, and we're gonna place her on like so. Hmm, doesn't, doesn't really seem to work. Uh, and maybe I won't use this dory, and I'll go ahead and use this one here. I've got a big piece of tape on there, what is that? Let's remove that packaging tape. Really, really nice packaging tape. There we go. And we'll simply place on this ball joint. Like so, that is a tight joint. And move her fin around like so. There we go, so that's kind of the basic of the toy here. Dory on her display stand. Kind of hard to have a fish stand a fish, so that's why they designed that stand. Now we can start adding some pieces to Dorson here. Uh, let's use her tail. That's probably the most important part. Uh, where's the tail? Uh, okay, here it is. I got a tail here. And it just doesn't seem to fit. I'm gonna have to go get some glue or something. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'll just use this other piece. There's several different pieces to use, so we're gonna go with this piece now as her tail. I'm not really sure which way is up, but I think it's a symmetric piece, so just jam that in there. I didn't really pop, did it? There is the official uh, Dora, and let's get another tail fin on here. Um, what is this side again? It's kind of a wavy fin. It looks like these fins are gonna hold stuff. There's holes on them for other uh, joints, so that's pretty neat. Let's just kind of replicate what we've got going here on the other side. The yellow down, okay. There we go, the most basic Tyrannosaurus Rex, built and ready to go. This thing is going to terrorize the poor people of Jurassic World once it escapes its enclosure. Pretty scary movie, I really don't recommend uh, Finding Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, for kids. It's kind of a scary movie, so don't don't take your kids to that. You might want to see uh, the sequel to Finding Nemo, though. I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but it's probably going to be a really cool movie. But there's the basic toy. Now let's start accessorizing. So there are lots of pieces to add to Quimby here. I see several different funny things, different kinds of crabs. Uh, let's add a crab here. I'm not sure where to put it. Maybe on her back. Let's go like this, and now we've got something cool going on. 
on her back and fits pretty well. This doesn't have a ball joint, um, but it does fit really well and I like that, how it works. Uh, oh, it kind of fell off. Maybe we should try something with an actual uh, ball joint. Uh, let's pop this one off. We've got this uh, nice fin down her back, but we're gonna go with this really cool periscope piece to dress her up with. And that's ultra silly. I like that. That's really funny. And let's try to put something in one of her fins. Let's try this shell here. That's, that's easy to start with. I like that. So now we have her holding a shell. Looks pretty good. What else could we add? This is a weird nautical accessory. I guess we'll just place it right down here. Oh wait, we've got to switch it up though with the uh, ball joint piece. And simply place in there. There we go. Now Dora has that going for her. Really funny and silly. Oh, we've got a different face to work with. Let's pop this one off real quick again. Ball joint. And where'd that face go? Here it is. Pop that on there. So now we've got her going, looking really good. Oh, that is just funny. I'm glad they included different faces and heads for Dory. Uh, really makes the set ingenious. She even has a helmet. Oh my goodness. You know, there's sometimes, you know, toys in development are just great. And that, that is one great looking toy. Oops. I think we all can appreciate an accidental placement every once in a while, things pop off, but over, overall so far, she is really working solid. Another fun piece here is this seaweed. That is kind of crazy. What do we got here on the package? It's kind of sticking here, like so, just kind of hanging off. But then I think another good idea is to place up top, and then we've got another ball joint to work with these crabs. place them variously as such. These eyes don't come out though. It almost feels like you could do something with rotating these eyes, but they don't. Kind of another crab-like piece up here. And I guess you don't have to use her face. You can do that after Dory was hit with the frying pan and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. That's what she looked like. The tag is also another accessory I kind of like. Take the uh, 3181 tag here, put it in the ball joint like so, and now she's tagged. Very nice and different. Oh, this crab is really weighing it down. Let's try putting her head up here. Oh, looks like the head ball joints are only going to work on the head, so you can't have a two-headed Dora, pop that in here like so. This is a fun toy, lots of pieces to work with. Not the same as uh, comparing it with Finding Nemo here. Finding Nemo uh, was a really great movie too. And I'm kind of sad to see we don't have as much Nemo merchandise included with the Dora merchandise. I mean, just look at Nemo's claw shield and sword. Just a great, fun toy, a lot of articulation going. They really changed things up in this new movie. It's gonna be fun to see who these crabs really are and how they're doing things. Uh, both crabs are included. We've got a purple crab and a pink crab, which reminds me of a little bonus for this video. We've got some blind, but not really blind bags of some of the characters. We can actually see with this little window here. Let's see who we get here. Wow, I'm shocked to tell you that we have Pearl, the pink jellyfish-like thing, and would be a good, you know, extra piece, but they don't hook on. That's too bad. We should have had extra pieces to buy for this set. Check out another one here. Ah, this is the one I definitely wanted to get. This is a hermit crab, possibly named Bernard from the uh, instructions. And uh, one more here. Ah, we've got a little otter, a sea otter. Very cute. Almost feels like these are should be with the set, same kind of plastic and such. So you can get those blind packs usually very close to where this toy is sold. 
really fun toy overall. I'm just really excited. We're finally going to get a sequel here and see who can uh, win in the epic battle between Batman and Dory. I think there's a lot of things going on between these two characters. A lot of symbolism, a lot of deep, deep uh, meanings and things that we're really going to explore in a, a very vicious fight. I'm glad they will finally be together on screen. Disney Pixar Finding Blue Silver Fish Change Blue Silver Fish's Look appears on store shelves Spring Summer 2016. If you enjoy the culinary arts and fixing yummy fish and eating that fish, this is the set for you. It is absolutely tasty once you grill it. And the fumes are mesmerizing. That's what I like about Blockbuster Video. Oh Squirrel, you feeling alright? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. By Thundera? What is that? Ah, uh, I don't know. Just run. Just run away now. I'm gonna go catch it. Woohoo! What did I miss, guys? What did I miss? Oh man, I never see anything cool.